having a time here this mm -hmm. evening talking about full-figured women and how the public responds to us and how we see ourselves. Okay. You women were telling me that everything was wonderful, that you've adjusted, mm -hmm. that everything's okay. All right, I'm going to throw out a few things. I'm going to use Vesta as my example, but you all jump. Girl, you are absolutely beautiful. Your you face. have such a gorgeous face. If you just lose 30 pounds. 30 pounds? <laughs> you could be well, fantastic. Well, baby, the record company told me, they said, first they told my manager because they knew I'd go crazy. <laughs> they said, now look, she's gorgeous, but we need to trim her down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, I had lost 30 pounds three times in one year. Mm. So that was messing my metabolism up, you know, until I decided, wait a minute. This is what it is. My fans like it. They buy the records. And nobody's going into my... Give me the record. No, give me the skinny girl's record because she's skinny. So, so what, did you say, what did you say to the record company? I said, leave me alone. Okay. I am what I am. But I you have had people say that to you. And well, one they say it indirectly. They, they won't say it directly to me. They'll say it to my management or to my people. What about parts? Um, or do oh. they try to give you the, quote, fat girl part? They give me the part. Well, I've had to turn down a couple of parts. One part I love, and I hope that I'm, I got my fingers crossed now, but they send, I've, I've gotten some derogatory parts that they wanted to use my weight as the, the fat girl joke of the movie, or, you know, they want to pan mm -hmm. in on your booty mm -hmm. right in the crack of your behind, you know, with the dress that's too small and have you walking all crazy. You know, that kind of stuff. That ain't and cute. Yeah, y'all can go on the lady with the dress and around here laughing and stuff. Fade to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, All right, what about, what about going into a, a, um, a shop? I like boutique shopping, and they say, you're I looking at too. a dress that is striped. I do, too. I and do they say too. to you, you can't wear that. And you're too I large. I dis disregard the sales help, okay? Um, one of the things that, that women really have to do is to get in touch with their personality and go for the things that they really love and start from there and forget about the rules there are no rules what we're talking about is trying to find the proportion that fits no but what i don't okay, like is when you comfort. go to the store and the lady says you going to the regular size store right right that goes up to a 10 or 12 mm -hmm. and the lady says are you shopping for your sister so, or something, honey? Because mm -hmm. we don't have anything. Because you, you ain't nothing in here gonna fit you. So, so you are a model. What does that say for you? Because I don't see women our size in supermarket ads and soap ads. I've never, ever seen one of us bathe in a tub or take a shower. It's as if we don't well, do those true. kinds exactly. of things. Exactly. So what kind of <laughs> ads are you in? Uh, basically, from what I can see, it's just large size fashion only. Uh, it's very rare that you have a seductive lingerie, large size ad. Do you, do you ever get a call to go into a bank scene where you're investing in a bank? Mm, only as a, as a mother type, uh, which, you know, I'm not yeah, even a mother now. I'm not even a mother now. You got so to play somebody so many you know, of the people the who market. control the images that we see are not treating the, the presentation from the present moment. They're going back to some ancient history philosophy of what they think women look like. And we come in all sizes and shapes. If you walk down the street, you don't just walk into uh, a, a corner full of women who wear a size six and eight. I have You're never seen anybody every, like Cindy Crawford on the street. You're going to see <laughs> yeah, every really. size, And out of makeup, she doesn't look like that either. No. Okay. So the, and that's a fact. Out of makeup, you can't recognize who the sheep or models are. That's a fact. Okay. The next Me thing. Me either, though, for that You moment. must admit, though, that there are some <laughs> full-figured women who seem to say, okay, the world doesn't like me like I am. I'm not going to put on the right kind of bra. I'm not going to put on the right kind of garment. Ooh, you ain't lying. Uh, so what those, do you tell them? Those are those house shoe wearing women that run around with the, with, the, with the boobs hanging down real low. And the T-shirts <laughs> and the <laughs> and, and shorts. Just, Tell them ain't, ain't to put the on an all-in-one body briefer that helps. Well, just, are they <laughs> finally <laughs> making garments yes. for us? Yes. yes. They, oh, they, they got all of they that. They have all the things, but what, what we're talking about is a re-education process. And low self-esteem. It's low self-esteem. People don't, if you don't feel good about yourself, you're you not going to make yourself presentable. You're not going to, you're, you're not going to think that you deserve to be gorgeous and voluptuous and statuesque or any of those adjectives mm -hmm. that, that make you feel good about yourself. And you cannot expect somebody to make you feel that way. You have, that's from within. You have to feel good about yourself. Because my boyfriend kind of is, is, he's happy that I'm with the thickness, but he'd be like, well, baby, do you have to eat that too? <laughs> Here and there sometimes, you know, and that kind of irks my nerve till that other man that's sitting in the other booth look over and say, <laughs> and and I, I, I just go on and he can't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Speaking about the boyfriend, a lot of women who are full-figured are reluctant to become intimate. And when they are intimate with a man, they will cover themselves up. 
somebody else answer this question so I, other than I, Bessa. I, I don't think what I'm, about I'm, intimacy? I'm, who's, who's what? How do you think men respond to women who are like this? I don't think so. More the seductive. bathing suit industry, stuff like that. More seductive of uh, being full-figured. I don't really feel it's like a problem in any so way. So the media makes too much out of it? I think it? that what we have here is <laughs> the, the understanding <laughs> that there's <laughs> lots of changes going on. <laughs> and I think that, that while that may have been uh, an issue, I think that you're finding out that a lot of full-figured women are saying, wait a minute, there's another way to live. There's another way to be we do in not a have to suffer in we silence. Don't, it's, don't. Suffer. it's never been a problem. I don't get it. Okay. It's never been a problem. All right. I mean, because a man that wants a full-figured woman is the one that's that's being the aggressor towards me. Exactly. I mean, if he didn't want a, he he obviously sees that I'm with try. the thickness. They wouldn't even try. That the girl's mm -hmm. a full-figured girl. It, it, he wants that. That is obviously what he is pursuing. Okay. And that is what he's gonna get. What about dieting? Oh. Well, I mean, how many diets have we all word. been on? Not my favorite word. I've been on everybody's diet, and none of them work. I and say I maintenance stop. is the key. Don't even put yourself on a diet. If you learn how to maintain Isn't from the beginning, now, well, I'm going from say, the beginning, think, it really helps. <laughs> I'm going on a sex diet because I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how I, I was going to know what a sex diet is. I wrote a note to myself. I wrote a note to myself. Watch Vesta. Don't let Vesta go crazy on you. I'm serious. But you do feel, but you, no, I don't remember when I had a lot of sex. I don't remember that at all. I had a whole lot of sex because I would eat and but, have a lot of sex. But does it have to thin. do with sin or does it get back to what Sandy said? Because when you are <laughs> cared for by a loving, caring man, that's a lot of sex. Then all you. <laughs> I don't know anything about that either. No, oh, Lord, no, this time, no, we don't no, know what no, you're talking no, about. No, no, no. <laughs> but the, point, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make, ladies, is that when you feel loved, Mm -hmm. and encouraged by those who and love you, you and sure. Sure. then regardless to what size you are, you take special pains, special you put care. special oil, exactly. you take special right. time with yourself. You go Don't you look think? for that special nightgown. Yes. You, go exactly. to, you go to the store and you think about putting yourself together from another point of view. And you make sure that stuff is smelling delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's one of the points that we want to make to full-figured women, where you everything, you can still be seductive. But I would like to get to men who make jokes about full-figured women. Before we go off the air, <laughs> quickly, we'll save Vesta for last. Quickly, tell <laughs> men how you want them to respond to you. If they make jokes about me? Or whatever. Or about being a large size? Yeah. It just shows the insecurity. I never worry for that. Uh, I think they should just come a, across a little more stronger inside themselves and not be scared to... Approach you. Yeah, to approach it me. It depends. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the man is really being gross, uh, sometimes I'll address it on the spot and let the brother know he's out of order. Sometimes people have to have their coat pulled. There's no reason for you to tolerate that abuse. And, uh, and sometimes, sometimes the people making the abuse are heavy themselves. Right, and they don't realize that that's what they're doing because it's a subconscious attitude. All right, and before I say good evening, <laughs> <laughs> your remarks. Well, I had a brother say something to me that I didn't particularly care for pertaining to my weight, and my reply was, well, that's because you're playing hardball with a soft stick, my brother. And on that note... <laughs> And, and on that note, today's conversation left a simple message, not hers, <laughs> but mine. Begin to like who you are as you are. And as Oprah says, once you become comfortable with yourself, you will be sexy, beautiful to all concerned. Until the next time, a big stick, God bless. <laughs>